Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the third part of the world tour. In the last part, we finished, well, I finished showing you guys the, the basement. And in this part, we are going to be looking at the stuff that I built outside. So, there's a few things that have been built throughout this uh, series. And... I don't know if I'll be able to get to all of it. I'm going to probably make this episode a little bit longer so I can get through some stuff. But, um... So, yeah. So, once you get outside, this is what the back of the house looks like. I don't know if I showed this or not, but... It's what the back of the house looks like. And if you come out here, there's a little pathway that connects to a fountain. And it leads to three different other pathways. So, we'll start off going to this one. Now this one was built for some puppies, some wolves. Um, yeah, so I got these a long time ago. These dudes have been here for a while. I'm surprised they all live this long too. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's a few wolves in here. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Unless I counted that wrong. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 11 or 12. I think there's 11. But yeah, that's what's over here. A little wolf den type of thing. And um, let me... uh, I'm just going to head to sleep, but... Seems to be enough light over here, so... We shouldn't have to worry about that. And... Now this building is... The brewing room. This is where I make all of my potions... As you can see here, I have a few furnaces that have... Oh, son of a... Son of a crap. Um, under these furnaces are... Under there is nether brick that is set on fire. So, as you can see over here, it gives a type of burning effect, which looks really good on the... On the furnaces, under the furnaces. And let me just get the flint and steel. Drop that. And one block of stone brick. Alright, so let's head back over here. There could be a little bit more light over here, but I can fix that later. But yeah, so that's what's over here. That looks pretty good. Got half slabs and a stair right there. And alright, so this is pretty much the main stuff. This is where I have all of the stuff to make potions. Some bottles, some uh, nether warts, and blaze rods, and some other stuff to make potions, and I brew the potions in here, in the brewing stand, obviously, got your cauldron over here, which is completely useless, I never use it, if you hit the switch, then here are all of the potions, and, um, that's pretty much it for this room, I made this a long time ago, as well, and I don't really use it that much anymore because I don't really make potions for anything. Um, the only potions I wouldn't would make were uh, speed potions um, to get places a little bit faster. Now I'm gonna head in, head in bed real fast. My head my head in bed. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep, and I'm gonna put this flint and steel away. It goes right there. And now, I'm going to show you guys this giant building I made that took forever that I don't really even use. Well, there, eh, there's kind of a purpose to this. I mean, um, yeah, the only purpose I have to use this thing is for the villagers um, that were, I think, episode 57. 57, I want to say 56 or 57 is when I got these villagers in here. And if you go to my second channel, link will be in the description. Um, I got a second villager over here, and uh, it was a pain in the butt. But, um, oh my god, I just ate again. I gotta stop doing that. Whenever I just eat food, it's hard for me to talk for a long period of time without, um, I guess like burping, but it's a quiet burp. But, um, yeah, so I gotta, gotta digest my food before, or, uh, record before I eat food. But, um, 
yeah, so this this was supposed to be, and I guess still is, a library. Um, I made this thing larger than I actually needed it to be, but I never filled any of this in either. I mean, I made some bookshelves over here, and it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little plain, but they're both on each side, and then I have these... These uh, wood planks, not wood planks, these wood pillars in the middle, surrounded by stairs all around it. And back here is where I have the quote-unquote librarians. And, um, yeah, you can buy stuff off them. And I was supposed to have uh, signs back here with, like, some book deals and whatever, but I never did that. And, um, yeah, this is made out of stone fences and... I think, what are these, stone slabs? Is that what they're called? Stone slabs, yes. And, yeah, that looks pretty good. And now, I'll show you guys the second floor. This is a staircase to get upstairs. This is how it looks. So let's head up there right now. It's just a spiral staircase that goes all the way up. There's not anything up here yet, but... The ceiling took a little bit of time to do and was kind of annoying. And, um, hopefully in the future... In one of these soon episodes, soon upcoming episodes, I can add a giant window back there to see a nice view. And there's a little bit of a uh, window up top to give a nice amount of light in, natural light. And that's why I wanted to come go back to the house and sleep so there wasn't a bunch of mobs up here. Because it's not well lit and mobs do happen to spawn up here. And I think a spider jockey spawned up here too. So, yeah, as you can see here, this is um, the front view that I have, and if I had Optifine, I would have connected textures, and you would have you would be able to see out of this a lot nicer, but it's kind of hard to see out. I mean, it's not that hard, but you guys can get an idea on what's out here. It's pretty obvious what's out there, too. But, um, yeah, this is the library. Didn't really do much in here. Wanted to do more, but I never bothered to. So, there were a lot of unfinished projects on this world, which I hope to change on my, uh, on my season two. Now, I honestly, honestly had some nice times on this world. I do want to continue using this world, but, um, I honestly don't have much else to do. I mean, I've done a lot of the stuff. Wow. Got an arrow right through my pee-pee. But, um... <laughs> I don't have that much stuff to do, but that is the main reason why I'm switching worlds, um, for that simple fact. I think I have found my seed, um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, it has some really nice stuff, and I'm trying not to do that much on it, I mean, I was trying to look for a seed to use, and I think I found the one that I want to use for the season 2. But, um, yeah, I honestly had some really nice, uh, really nice episodes in this. They were really enjoyable to record, and, yeah, the playlist, as always, is in the description if you're looking to, uh, watch any of the older episodes. It's, it's really awesome to see. I've been getting comments on my, uh, more, I guess, older episodes. And it's still nice to see that that, are, that people are actually going back to watch them. So, that's very nice, and um, I'm glad to see that. But, um, yeah, so that's the library all the way back there. Giant and empty. And now if you come over here, this is where I have a potato farm. And it uh, works pretty well, and you, you can get a decent amount of potatoes. But I don't normally use it that much. Now, I don't know if I ever came down here. I might have... But this is another way to get into the farm. Glitching, glitching the fence. But yeah, this is another way to get into the farm. I don't know if I mentioned this in any of the uh, last two parts. But yeah, that's a way to get into the farm. Now if we come over here, there's a window. I never patched that one piece of glass. Um, there's a window over here with another view. And also you can get some natural light in from there. So that's nice. And this is the front of the house, of course. And now, if we head on to this side, this is a, this is something I made a little bit 
recent. I think I made this pretty recently. Um, yeah. So, I'll show you what right now. Get a better view from up here. It's the beacon. Um, yeah, this is a tree farm with four different types of trees. You got oak, jungle, birch, and... Oh, God. What's the name of these trees? I'm not going to go downstairs and look at the sapling. Spruce! There we go. Spruce wood. So, oak, jungle... Spruce. <laughs> um, now I forgot this. Jesus Christ. You guys are probably like, You're an idiot! Oh my god. What is the name of this wood? Birch. There we go. So, we've got four different types of trees. Um, pretty sure these are all the different types of trees. Yeah, these are all of the different types of trees. We've got four different kinds. And the reason why I have glass up here is to prevent from getting those giant trees that are disgusting and take 20 years to get rid of. Like that tree over there. God damn, I wish I had Optifine. I need Optifine. This tree over here, I gotta go all the way up to it because I can't... Of course, you can't get Optifine on a, on a snapshot. So, this is the tree I'm talking about. This, these trees are a pain in the booty pipe to get rid of. So, that's why I have the glass above the trees, and, um, yeah, so that's to prevent that, nice, <laughs> I had to do that, alright, okay, just, uh, patch all of this up, for no apparent reason, just for the hell of it, alright, so if we head back up here now, so yeah, this is the uh, this is the uh, tree farm. I originally had a tree farm in my basement that I got rid of in episode 49. If you're interested in watching that, it was a pretty short video. It was like six minutes. But um, yeah, I figured might as well make one out here. I have enough land out here, and that's what I did, and it turned out pretty well. I really, really like the way this turned out. This is exactly the way I wanted it to turn out. And looks really good in my opinion. Is there glass up there? Oh, there isn't glass on this tree. Hmm. Look at that. Pretty sure there's glass on every other tree, though. But, um, yeah, so this thing works pretty well. And I'm trying to think if I should show you guys those other two things that are pretty far away from my house. I might as well, might as well show them to you guys in this episode. Do I have any speed potions? I have one. That'll work. Alright, so... I'm going to speed up until I get to that specific area. And then I'm going to probably end off the episode because the other area isn't too special. Because... Um... It's pretty much like an area I've already showed you. It's... It's a XP farm that I made for skeletons in a different area that was pretty far away. That was dumb on my part. But I still decided to make it. But I just never uh, never really went to it because it was way... It wasn't really far away, but it was... Um, I guess it was inconvenient. It was, it took it took a few minutes to get over there. So having the XP farm for the skeletons in my basement is a lot more convenient for me. I can just take that minecart all the way down there. And voila! Get to, uh, get to level up with ease. Now, there's no point in speeding up the video since I'm already over here doing some tree parkour. Speaking of tree parkour, Jack never got on. I was going to record that today, but no, no, he doesn't even reply to my uh, my text message. So, thanks, Jack. I, I appreciate it. Big shot with uh, 19,000 subscribers. See that? God. These kids, they change. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Alright, but, um, yeah, this is another project I never finished. <laughs> This was supposed to be a giant tree. Um, the only problem, the, the only reason why I never finished this, fucking spazzing out over here. <laughs> the only reason why I never finished this was because I never really knew how to set up the top of it. I never knew really how I could um, make it look like a tree. 
I mean, it looks like a tree right now, but I never knew really how to uh, incorporate the leaves at the top. I never really had a way to uh, make them look nice. But if you sleep in these beds, I'm pretty sure you'll spawn outside. <laughs> am I right? Nope, I am, I am senile. But yeah, oh my god. Jesus. Got a lot of wood in there. But, um, yeah, that, so, this is another thing I built, which, I like the way this came out. Um, turned out really nice, actually. This is the second floor, and I took this design from the desert temples, and I just put them in the wall with, uh, with wool. That's orange wool. Um, if you guys do not know how to make orange wool, it's, it's, uh, you put dandelion, which is the yellow flower, into the crafting table. You get yellow dye, and you put, I think it's a rose, which is the, which is the, um, red flower, and that goes in there as well. And you put both of them in, I think, at once, and then you'll be able to get orange wool. So, yeah, it's just in case you were wondering, that is the tip of the video, even though that's something I never do. And I have two Daniels down here. And uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this part of the world tour. I think there's going to be one more part, and that's going to be it. But um, other than that, that's going to be it for this episode. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great weekend. I'm going to try to record my video for Sunday tomorrow, since my birthday is on Sunday. And, you know, I don't want to have to upload on Sunday. I want to kind of relax and whatever. But, um, yeah, so Hunger Games on Sunday, and depending on who's on tomorrow, I may be able to upload one of the series I have with somebody. Um, probably Parkour if Jack is on, which he probably won't be, or Daniel, probably not, because he'll probably be at his girlfriend's house. But, um, other than that, that's gonna be it for this, so thank you guys for watching the third installment of the World Tour. Hope you guys enjoyed. And that is about it. So, thank you guys for watching. My lips <coughs> are extremely dry from talking a lot. So, I'm going to go upstairs and get a drink. And I will see all of you guys later. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Mm. At least you don't have a third eye. <laughs> That's for you, Justin.